Hi everyone, I just thought I'd do a very quick video on the Yesi font. Sorry if you hear my little boy playing in the background, he can be a little bit noisy. Okay, so I've been having a play with the Yesi font and it seems that the time that you get the upside down heart on the capital letters is when you have a C, a E, a G, L, O, Q and S. So, I thought I'd show you how to quickly turn that capital upside down. Uh, let's just make this really pretty and I'll see what I can do in the five minutes that I have to record. Okay, so we've typed it in, that's how we'd type it in. And then when we go up and put in our Yesi font, we will get, uh, let's just type it here. We get our pretty, pretty. I like when I'm doing editing on words just to make it as big as I can to fit on the screen. Okay, so here we have our upside down thingy. Let's ungroup these first and Just straighten them all out. You can see I'm doing it really rough to start with. Like I said, I'm going to select just those ones and have them align at the bottom so that they're nice and straight. Um, I didn't do the S because it does come down a little bit lower, so it doesn't really matter if it's not lined up straight anyway. Then we'll pop this one over. Oh, it might not fit there. Okay, so we'll just delete that one, and then we'll pop our pretty little swirl at the end. Okay, and now I'm going to weld that so that that's all one image. If you try to slice this heart off while it's still individual, unless you've got it ungrouped and it's just the single S, um, if you've got the whole world grouped, then you won't be able to slice because it the design space recognizes each individual letter as a layer and you can only slice two later layers. So now we'll pull up a shape, just a square will do, pop it over, select them both, hit our slice. Pull all this away, we only need one of those so we can delete the other, select it, flip vertical and then that is why it's upside down. It doesn't exactly fit but we can choose to put it that doesn't look too bad. You can choose to put it on. Some of the other letters might be a little bit easier. Or you can pop up Let's see, let's pop up this one, our little, make that a bit bigger, let's flip that, so you can flip them around, try and get them to fit, or you can rotate them, which might be the idea for this one. Resize, rotate, pop it how you want it, when you're happy with it, select it all again, weld it together and then you've got your single image. Okay, that's not a very good join there, but you get the idea. Um, I hope that helps.